guess I was fairly apprehensive the whole time that I was flying in combat. And, and I guess there's good reason to feel that way. I'm there to cause a lot of damage and a lot of harm, and therefore they would like to damage me. And I was 25 years old at that time. Top Gun was really a thrill. I must have done well in actual combat because at the time I was just a lieutenant junior grade, which is a, a first lieutenant in the Air Force. And so I may have been the very first lieutenant junior grade to go through Top Gun. That was the dream of a lifetime come true. I had wanted to be an aeronautical engineer and a test pilot, just like my dad from the time I was 10 years old. STS-27 was my, was my third launch, and it was only the second launch after the Challenger accident. We were a top secret classified Department of Defense mission. So to this day, if I told you what we carried, you could never leave this hangar. Uh, you'd be... <laughs> well, I will never forget, we maneuvered the arm and Mike Mullane was my arm operator. So he moved the arm over there and we brought up the television image of the right wing. And I looked at what I was seeing and I said to myself, we are gonna die. To be an airline pilot, there was mandatory age 60 retirement. I was a NASA astronaut until I was 50 years old. And so I looked at the situation and I had known a number of Southwest airline pilots. And they were just like me. They were flying because they loved to fly. There's a lot of piloting that goes into it, a tremendous amount of piloting that goes into it because you're going to wind up passing other airplanes. You're, you're going to get in a duel with another airplane that's fairly closely matched. So there's a ton of satisfaction from, from doing that. And hey, let's just talk about the racing itself. It's fun to fly low, but it's dangerous. And so the only time I fly low is at the Reno Air Races. But watching the ground go by you at 400 and 500 miles an hour is pretty darn thrilling because it's, it's really scooting on by. And that's fun, that's really fun. I had always been fascinated by racing planes uh, because they're sleek, streamlined, and they, they, they go real fast. There's that need for speed again, and they're raced around a pylon. And so I determined that I could break the existing altitude record for altitude and horizontal flight for that quarter category of airplane. And in fact, I did that in 1991. Fond of saying that uh, 
If I have done well as an aviator, it's because my dad was the one who taught me how to fly. And he didn't just teach me how to fly, he taught me the why of it as well. He taught me the aerodynamics behind it, the reasons that you're doing things, not just, not just how to do it, but why you're doing it is, is also very important. <laughs>